So guys, the other day I covered a few weapons which we thought were unreleased, as these said legendaries were coded into the game, some as early as a game being released. But we are yet to see legit sources for them to drop. Today we check out a couple more items that have been found. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So I just want to make this clear. These items could yet still come. They could be items cut from the game, like I do think, or they could be items that are bugged so they can't drop. We just don't know right now. What we do know is the only way to get these in game right now is to extract them out of the code on PC. You can't get them any other way. I also want to make sure it is clear that these items have not been modded in any way so to speak. I know they've kind of been modded into the game, but these haven't been edited in any way to make them any more powerful than what they would be as they would drop from a legit source in the game. So the new items we have, firstly this one right here and it's called the Ice Pick. This is a melee one pistol with the ability to switch out that element. It's also one of those weapons where you can either tap it to shoot it or charge it up and let off a more powerful shot. Now using it for a while I can tell you there really isn't anything unique about this thing and looking at it on paper you will first notice it has no red text. This has led many to believe that this is either because it isn't finished or it's an item that has been put in and planned to be released but later scrapped and they just left the code there. I mean this makes more sense because as far as I'm aware weapon modules ain't put into the files until finished but I could be wrong there, you guys tell me. So it does make sense that this thing was probably scrapped, but I cannot confirm that. Ok so next up we have a rare weapon which I do believe people have been searching for for a long while now and it's because two other variants are already in the game that are very much a part of a 3 part set, well there could be more even. Now this I have read multiple posts on as far back as probably October last year and one post I read stated it hadn't been programmed to drop which kind of makes sense with what I've been saying. So you guys know of the Hunted, drops often at Grave Ward, I do believe. We've got the Hunter, which is a quest reward sniper. And then we have this one, the Huntress. One does 175% increased damage to robots, the other two creatures, and this one does it to humanoids. So it makes sense it should be in the game, I just don't understand why it ain't. So yeah, this no scope rare sniper, so big, so strong, so dead, and well, so hidden, isn't in the game yet or is in the game but it's bugged and it can't drop, or it's an item they scrapped, we just do not know. Ok so lastly and the latest of unreleased items is this shield right here, now the shield is called the MEAT or the meat shield, must eat or attendees. Now is this another cut item from the game, I mean there's a new enemy called the tenderizer, we see with the rose and enemies within the villa ultraviolet enemies like their meat t-bone, I mean it kind of makes sense that this indeed was a possible planned item which supposedly should have dropped from this event, but was cut. Or for all we know guys, it's bugged. In fact, like many of the other items I covered the other day, which you will see gameplay on in a second if you missed that video, they all could be indeed bugged. Or in fact, they could be indeed cut weapons. Weapons put into the game, put into the code, but later cut out. But this, in my opinion, is bizarre because some great, great weapons we have seen already. The bite size which is an incredible new pistol which is super unique and performs like nothing you've ever seen and then we have the P2P networker which is like a new version of the redistributor but instead it's a melee one weapon. These are amazing items and I know this because I've used them and I do feel they are truly missed in this game. Now hopefully these will become available one day or at least some of these weapons are featured. Now don't forget there's two other weapons as well which have been in since the start. We had the Mongol which is a launcher and we also have the RYNAH which is another launcher. These have been coded into the game from the start but yet haven't dropped for anybody. Are they bugged? Have they been crossed? We just don't know. I did see one comment on my video from the other day where someone said they could be NPC weapons. I mean he got a lot of stick for what he said but when I truly thought about it, could indeed Gearbox have coded weapons into the game for NPCs which we weren't supposed to get our hands on? I mean. It kind of makes sense but then why would they give them the text, why would they give them special abilities and unique perks, I just don't know. I mean it's a good call but I just can't see that. But what I also can't see, which I've seen many people state, is that they could be from future event and future event legendaries. That to me kind of don't make sense because if they were, many of the new legendaries we are seeing now within the Revenge of the Cartels event would have indeed been found in the cold ages ago. 
and I highly doubt these will be a part of New Raid 2, as there's just no theme behind these, they're just far too dissimilar from each other to be a part of the same new loot pool. I mean I could be wrong there, but who knows. But yeah guys, here are a further three items which we know exist. The Meat Shield, the Huntress, and the Ice Pick. These are items, they're all items we know exist, but we just can't get yet. Well, unless you extract them out of the cold and spawn them in. Now, credit to some imagine Rob for sending me these items so I could showcase them to you guys, so credit to him. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end. Where do you think these items will fit into the game, people? Let me know. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new and you want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Death comes for us all! You first!
Thank <laughs> you. 